Howdy Doody Hot Rod City Residence. If you're not a resident and you're just a guest, go down there, cl click the subscribe button. Um, I don't really know where I've at with filming wise. Uh, it's pretty much official. I uh, no longer work at the power plant due to uh, it's not actually the tree hugging hippies, uh, but that was going to be in two more years they were coming after us. But uh, due to the fact that we no longer were getting capacity payments, uh, the companies decided they didn't want the liability no more. So therefore, no more power plant. Well, I'm going into business for myself as an upholsterer. Uh, quite busy already, which is thankfully. I hope it holds out. Um, but uh, some of you may know about the Red International that I had, the 75 Lodestar. Well, I bought a Detroit to put in that, and it was a straight 6, 671, and I didn't want it. Well, and I ended up with a 6V. Uh, I was told the mechanic shop said 71, but a lot of people online said it was a 92. So, but it was a turbo version, and that's the one I wanted. So I take the truck down to the shop, because they said it would work, and then uh, then after that I get told it wouldn't. So I go to put the straight six in there, and they tell me that one won't work either, because it'll hit on all the air brake stuff. So, long story short, we said we needed a bigger truck. I found this one. The guys blew the motor up in it. And uh, so after some wrangling and months of trying to get it from them, even though they agreed to sell it to me for a certain price, went up on their price, but I still ended up buying it. Uh, after buying it, the mechanic shop, my, my good friends at the shop said, uh, you ain't gonna believe this, after looking for eight months for the other customer that did own it, we found the motor that goes in it. So I ended up with a low mile, mechanically injected DT-466. Um, I basically had them get it to the point, because I, I don't have the facilities here to be able to put a motor like that in. So, I had to pay them to do it. So between truck tires, because uh, they wanted to keep the rear tires, uh, and I put low pros on it. Now I'm now $6,700 into this truck. And I don't even have a key to it. It takes a screwdriver to start it. Keep a hold of the strap, make sure it stays on there. And then I'm going to walk this thing around. It's about there. So we're just gonna basically lay it on the frame and then slide it and strap it. So this, uh, this is an old sleeper, it's old Kenworth. The mounts, I have all the mounts that bolt to the frame, but the problem is the aluminum on this is uh, pretty much gone. So I'm just gonna get uh, strips and you know, from here to here, here, all the full length, 
up there. But in the meantime, just getting this thing up on the truck and out of my way. So, I'm just going to throw it up here. Do whatever we can to avoid getting a hernia. So there we go. That's my, uh, can't call it a mini big rig like the red one. It's a lot bigger, but it's my medium big rig. It's an extra medium. Alright, so it's too hot to be doing much else today. Uh, it's starting to actually get later in the day. It's almost like it's only it's like 11.45. So it's going to start getting hot. Uh, I had a truck and tractor pull event yesterday. Uh, I didn't do any pulling, but I had a, was a sponsor and set up a booth and stuff. So i got to finish unloading the van and then uh, start hitting the marinas, picking up and dropping off. And then come back and work in the shop. I'm going to get the air conditioner going in the shop today, too. Here in, like, a few minutes. So. <clears throat> get that straight. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. Go down there and click the subscribe. Uh, give me a like. Leave a comment. Uh, if you like it, yay or nay. Um, it's not really going to change my mind either way. I'm putting the sleeper on it. Uh, I'm kind of getting more and more fond of it. So, like I said, it's something I'm going to continually work on. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.